Simu Liu has just promised that Shang-Chi 2 is still coming out despite a lot of fans feeling like Marvel abandoned the hero. Yeah, I mean, he's been really active on social media. Let's just run this clip. Thank you so much. But what I was saying No, 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 I just yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, the Barbie movie was just terrible. Literally the worst movie I've ever seen. I mean, actually, those actors were amazing. There was just uh, one actor in the Barbie movie that was awful. Seem, I don't, it doesn't matter. Nah, he, he's no, he's not going anywhere. Boom! So Simu has been staying active. Of course, Andrew, he's the creative director of Mila. But long story short, Andrew, on Instagram threads, he confirmed that Shang-Chi 2 is coming despite a lot of rumors in the uh, Marvel nerd mills on the internet, Andrew, that they had given up on the series. Oh, not only were there rumors, there was like kind of, I don't want to say... Yeah, I would say stereotypical jokes there. Are you so, talking about this one from Nerd Roddick saying some Ting Wong, huh? Yeah, the man. Ching Chi to get Ken Sao. Man, some Ting Wong, bro. That was funny in like 2005. Like, if you would have said holy fuck, I think that that would have made me laugh more. Hey, man, nerds can still also make stupid, outdated, stereotypical racial jokes. But so anyways, listen, guys, we're going to break it down. Shang-Chi came out uh, in 2021. It was the first Asian-led Marvel superhero thing ever. It did pretty decently at the box office. We're going to break it down. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Small Ass Sauce at smallassauce.com. Andrew, do you think that a lot of people thought that they had given up on it? Because obviously, in the original Shang-Chi, there wasn't a lot of other MCU characters in it. So some people were like, oh, was that like just the Asian representation kung fu offshoot that's yeah, like not and, gonna come back and to be honest i thought that was a great testament to how good shang chi performed because it did about 430 million dollars at the box office so it was a success of that summer because it, it came out kind of right when the theaters reopened so there was a surge of interest but the fact that it wasn't jam-packed with a bunch of the other popular marvel characters like there was no spider-man in it to kind of boost it up so i felt like that was a good sign. Like, it was overall just a solid movie. Right. A lot of mainstream America didn't know who Simu was. They didn't know what Shang-Chi was. They had no idea how it fit into the MCU. So for it to perform quite decently above average, you're saying was a good sign. Yeah, it was a great sign. But now since then, Disney has tried to do a whole bunch of budget cuts. Like, they're trying to make back $7 million because of, I think, COVID, a bunch of other things. But also, they had some crazy flops recently. Honestly, I watched The Eternals. I, could, I couldn't even finish that movie. Hey, shout out to uh, Chloe Zhao, though. Ch Chinese involved. Right, right, Asians right. Involved. It's not but, great for this movie. But And then there were some other big flops that really costed them a lot of money. Also, the Jonathan Major situation where they got to cut ties with him. So that kind of threw a whole wrench. In well, the that system. costs hundreds of millions, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know how far they were with the movies, but that was not good. When one of your new next stars, uh, you have well, to leave them. Just the macro economy in general is shrinking a little bit. Yeah. Right? So I think this is causing Disney to be more creative, and I don't think that they were ever planning on cutting Shang Chi, but they're probably thinking about how to do it now. Like, is it a big theater release? Is it on Disney Plus? I hope it gets a theater release. I think it deserves it. It made enough money the first time to deserve it for but, sure. But some of the stuff on streaming that's debuting on streaming nowadays, it still costs hundreds of millions of dollars, right? Oh yeah, some of the Disney series. Each episode of like WandaVision is like 20, up to 25 million per episode. That's crazy. So obviously the cost of the whole series does cost the amount of a movie easily. But anyways, like for me personally, David, and this is not just me saying this as a person who, you know, knows Simu and is cheering him on. I really think that since Shang-Chi got filmed, which it got filmed in like 2019, I think Simu has grown so much as an actor, as a personality, and also I think his even like comedic chops have gotten so much better that I think Shang-Chi too, you could expect it to be really good. Right. Like, I think it's going to be a good movie. No, no, I think it's even going to be better than the first one because... To me, the first one, it was almost like more like about Talo and this like Kung Fu realm. I think they're going to take it completely outside of that. I heard the Iron Fist is going to be in this one and they're maybe going to be more applying the Kung Fu stuff in just modern day America. Yeah, and which I'm personally going to appreciate because, you know, part of the Shang-Chi one that I didn't love so much was that it felt too much like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Part of that, I liked it, but also part of it visually, it looked too much like it. So I was kind of like... Right, like you're saying, how many times are you going to see Michelle 
Yo, manipulating the leaves with her wushu in the it, wind or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, I'm looking forward to Shang-Chi 2 is what I'm saying. You can definitely have some expectations. I think it's going to be good. Let's get into the comments section, Andrew. Obviously, I'm not that big of a, I guess, essentially, pop culture geek or comic book geek as far as people are on the internet goes. But some people just said, man, how come people are still allowed to make racist jokes about Shang-Chi and Asian actors in 2024? Right. Because some of the nerd pages, obviously, the Sum Ting Wong and some other comments that were made. I mean, so you're saying nerds want to make stereotypical Asian jokes too? Yeah, of course they do. For yeah, sure. Yeah, but it does. Why does it seem like they're not allowed to make it about other races, like black or Latino races, but they can make it about Asians? Yeah, I mean, same issue that we've always talked about on this channel. Asians get picked on, but you know what? Shang Chi Two is coming out. Simu said it. Um, somebody says I do feel like they gave up on it though because there was no mention of it and it, he wasn't incorporated into any of like the follow ups in any sort of small role like you basically you haven't seen Shang-Chi since literally there was a movie about Shang-Chi yeah yeah so my theory is that Disney did make the Shang-Chi movie with knowing that in the possible risk that they don't make a second one then Shang-Chi is not too embedded into the other worlds but i think since shang chi 2 is coming out and simu has proven himself as a reliable character like i think that they're gonna mix it a little bit more but i remember only uh benedict wong was at the end of shang chi 1 which man, kinda, they kept it super yeah, asian they, kept they, it even, super they asian, were like uh, yeah let's just make sure there's only chinese in this yeah one. but i i think i i hope i hope that disney sees value in shang chi i think they would be wrong if they didn't Right. Um, other people were just talking about, you know, I like Shang-Chi, but it was a little bit more of a standard Kung Fu movie to me. But somebody else said, that's what I liked about it. There was no more Kung Fu movies. And growing up in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s, there were so many. That's why I liked it. Yeah, I think in the next Shang-Chi, maybe it's a little bit more Jackie Chan-like even. And like, maybe they give you more of that nostalgia from other Kung Fu movies, but maybe taking it out of like the mystical Chinese village. For me... I like the bus scene in Shang-Chi 1 because it reminded me of a more elevated version of Rumble in the Bronx where Jackie Chan would be fighting just like in a regular urban metropolitan environment. You know what I mean? Like mixing two things that don't, don't seem like they go together. Oh, Shang-Chi 2 is definitely fighting in the back of a Chinese kitchen at some point. Right. Um, ultimately, Andrew, what are your takeaways? Shang-Chi 2, it's happening. Simu's bigger than he's ever been. But it seems like some people in the nerd world were almost preying on his downfall. Obviously, not everybody, just a, a small select portion. Yeah, I mean, I think Simu as a star, he like it, it's still like, I think a lot of people love him, but then some people still feel like he's okay. He's like an easy target to make fun of, right? Well, some like, people feel like he didn't, he doesn't deserve to be a star, right? Some of the corners of the internet are like, I feel like that's well, that, the, you're saying that he's not a superstar. He's not a megastar. Um, and I mean, I guess there is that feeling, but ultimately, like, I think the movies are good that he's in. So I don't know what else you can say. Like, what are you talking about? He's in successful movies. Right. It's successful. And if you're just looking at numbers, even at the baseline, how can you argue? Yeah, I just think that I'm looking forward to more Asian representation. Shout out to Shang-Chi too. And uh, I hope they keep it in the modern day, to be honest, and you know, just continue to just expand it. And I do feel like it's very interesting what's happening from what I can tell, Andrew, in the nerd sort of niche on the internet right now because it does seem like Marvel is has so many different properties now. Nobody knows how it's all going to tie together. Yeah, well, Disney, you better get creative, man, because I don't think people can keep up with all these series and everything like that. I, you know, I don't, I'm not watching it on Disney plus, so I don't know. Make it a movie and I will come out to support it as part of the Asian community, but also because I enjoy those movies. Anyways, guys, uh, I have some expectations for Shang-Chi too, since it is getting made. And plus, you know, we might have some other friends in it too. So I'm expecting it to be a good movie. Let us know what you think in the comments down below until next time we out. Peace. Peace.